hello guys welcome back again to my channel um if you haven't subscribed if you haven't liked all my videos please go back and do so before you watch this one okay so today i'm coming to you to talk to you about some of the things you should know before you start and end national service here in ghana national service is a mandatory um, service or work we all do once we graduate from the university or from the nursing training or from the teacher training school yeah institute so so I'm here to give you some gist on some of the things you have to know before you start and end national sales. Yeah, so the very first thing I would like to tell you is that um, before you start service or before you have plans of finishing school, you should have some plans written down. Some, um, some of the things you want to do whilst you are in school, before the four-year ends, some of the things you want to have achieved before you end your four-year study and also where you're going from there and what have you so i'm starting from the very first so i have some points written down both for before you start and before you finish so let's get into it the very first one is you must have had some work experience and i'm talking about internship where i finished my school in the university of ghana internship somewhat is quite compulsory um at the end of every semester for one eye for one at the end of every semester, I made it a point to do some form of work, either in the form of attachment, voluntary work, or whatsoever. I try to do something while school is on recess. So pretty much, I have some, you know, number of um, years that I've experienced um, practicality, um, work in practical. So I think it's very good that you take up some internship opportunity to enhance yourself in the direction you want to go as an individual. So then let's say you have a passion for becoming a journalist over here on campus and in so many university campuses they have some radio stations there. So I advise you take up the opportunity to volunteer there and learn the basics in terms of journalism and other staffs who are interested. If it is banking, there are a lot of banks on campus that you can volunteer or intern with them and gain some, you know, personal developmental skills from there. And just like any other company you want to work for. Yeah, so if you want to do a national service here in Ghana, at least you should have some work experience that will help you or guide you or remove that spirit of intimidity from your heart and give you some level of confidence such that no matter where you're posted to you'll be able to give off your best yes so know where you're going and um, know your budget as well before you do national service know your budget know how much the government is paying you get to know if there are other incentives you 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 are likely to enjoy at the place you'll be posted to um, and then I, for one, I had to put into consideration where I'll be staying for the service because then school has vacated and everyone is home and I have to do service the following month or two. I have to think of where I'm staying. Am I still staying with the parent? Am I going to be posted in my hometown? Um, where would I be staying? Do I have to rent a place? And how much is it? And a whole lot of them. It's a whole lot of um um, headache it's like a different type of headache altogether so you have to get your plans really straight know where you're posted to we are given the chance to choose or select an area we want to be posted to whether educational sector or Greek sector what have you get to know where exactly you're going some of us had the opportunity to liaise with some of these companies to want to work with them so we were somewhat sure that um, we will be posted to this particular company if the government does not post us to our preferred areas. Yes, so I for one before because I knew I'll be working at the University of Ghana and I do not live in Accra, then I thought it's wise to rent a place. Yes, a place so close to the university that I would have to, the proximity will be very comfortable for me. I wouldn't have to stress every now and then trying to chase traffic here and there to get to work. If you get to work late, it's not an act of professionalism that should be exhibited as a service person to your employer or your boss or whoever is in charge. Yes, so get to a place that is closer to the workplace. Know your proximity. Know where you are staying. Know how you're going to fund that residence you will be in. Are you going to pay rent? 
and how much is it how many years are they taking advance you're paying light bill every now and then you're doing a whole lot of things so know your plan and plan it so well if you're going to be in the house to go to work know where you'll be know where you'll be posted to so that you don't have to wake up like 5 a.m to chase traffic to get to work it's so much stress and you're too young to go through all those stress yes so know that and then also know your income how much you're getting because as you're doing service they'll be paying you some little incentives you have to start saving you have to have a plan service is just a year and before you could just say jack one year had just come to pass and you'll be wondering what's next we will come to that but hey no have a plan have a laid down plan have a strategy what you're going to be doing um during the service period the last thing i want to talk about is your consistency your hard work and your exhibition of professionalism no matter what you're posted to let your employer know that you are one of a kind leave a mark you know leave a mark that cannot be erased by whoever comes after you yes so get try as much as possible to get to work on time do not say that i come to work every day at 6 a.m and there'll be no one here till like 10 or 9 a.m or 9 30 whatever try your best as you can to get to work because for all you know someone else is watching you someone is watching you your commitment level don't say there are no work at um my place so um i'll always uh, excuse myself um, by saying I'm sick, I'm this and that, so I'm not going to work. No, do not do that. Try as much as possible to always be at work and on time. Yes. And also know your work ethics. Know how you dress for work. Your countenance is very important. The things you used to wear to class when you were a student, you cannot wear the same thing to work. You cannot wear the jeans and the strapless um, top or the crop top or the tank top you cannot wear all those sleeveless to work know your countenance i for one before service started i realized i didn't have a lot of formal clothing in my closet so then i had to look for ways and means to get some one or two um long sleeves a decent skirt and trousers an official wear it shouldn't be so formal but at least try as much as possible to look decent as you're going to work do not look at the others and what they are doing look at you and what you have to offer and the mark you have to leave there before you finish service yes it will also you know as a person it will uplift your confidence level because then now you know you are not growing any younger some of the things you were doing when you were in school you have to discard them cut them back um and then know that you're growing now and there's a certain way you have to also dress as an out young adult yeah so they're all very important and one last thing is once you start doing service this is this is the trick like it's is the gospel truth people do not want to accept it but here it is the truth once you start doing service and start ending some 500 and something cities or whatever it is trust me there will be pressure from home your parents who used to give you money all the time when you were in school. Some parents, I'm not saying every one of them, but some parents will stop giving you money because then now they know at the end of the month you take something, you know, you could manage with. So they have to use the other money they were giving to you before to your younger siblings or to, to do something else. Um, it will not be that rosy for you. If you are lucky, you still be getting support from your family and the last thing is know that once you're doing service some extended family of yours will start contacting you soon for this or that they'll start asking you how is the work going how is this and this and that can you support me with this even your own colleagues will come begging you for money know your plan know your strategy put in place things you know you'll be needing or things that you know can guide you once you're done with service. If you put all the money together for the one year, you'll be hitting somewhere 7,000 cities. And that's a lot of money. It's not so much money, but then you can start from somewhere with that. I'm not saying you shouldn't chop or you shouldn't spend some of the money. Spend some and know how much you will save for the future. So these are some of the things I wrote down that if you want to do service, um, 
these are some of the things you should know before you start your national service. Know where you'll be posted. It's very important. Know your expenditure, your income and your expenditure. Know your residence, where you'll be staying. Know if you're pick how many cars you have to pick to work. If you're paying rent and all of that. Just be prepared for that. Then, let's get to before you finish the national service. The one year mandatory service before you finish it. As I know, I'm not done yet. I'm left with about two, three months more to finish service. And trust me, before you finish national service, the last three months to the end of service is really like <laughs> I'm lost of word. It's really difficult. It's a tough time. You no longer concentrate on work. You do, but then you are now thinking more of after service, what next? Because then everyone is asking you. Your boss will start asking you. You see that they've posted new uh, notices on the boss asking for people to apply to do their service. So indirectly, they're kicking you out. They're kicking you out because there's no way they're going to keep you there when you know their notices say people should apply to do their national service. Then you should know you have to have a plan B. Yes. So I listed some few things down as to what you can do before you finish national service. The first one is know when exactly you're finishing, either the day or the month. I think in August is our um, free, a leave month. August is our leave month. So you can choose to come to work or go and leave. So service actually ends in July. So you can choose to come to work in August or not. It depends on you, it's a personal decision. So, know when exactly you are finishing. Are you ending in July or in August? Okay, so once you know this, know the exact date you are finishing. Okay, so in August, maybe 20 something of August, I'm done. I'm not coming back to work again. Yes, so this is one. You should know this. Two, ask yourself, where am I going from here? What is the plan I have for myself? ask yourself that where am i going from here it's very important because then if you don't know where you're going you can plan ask yourself the third one is whilst you are waiting to finish service you could start putting applications to either schools or to look for a job so if you want to go to school to do your masters do a professional course or whatever it might be you have to start it five to seven months before you finish service. Very important. Very, very important. Because you cannot finish service and now start thinking of what to do, how to write an, a letter, how to apply to schools and what have you. Most schools by then would have closed the application, applications, yes. So um, start putting in your application to either look for a job or to go to school earlier before you finish national service it's very very important very very important so it's very also very advisable that if you want to further your education after national service i would advise you do service on campus wherever you graduated from it's very important because then in terms of um recommendation letter it will be very accessible for you in terms of reference, very accessible for you. If you have to go to the registry for your certificates or your transcripts, very easy. And there are so many other, you know, benefits. Because you cannot be in the northern part of Ghana doing your service there. And you have to come here for, you have to come to your university for certificates, transcripts, recommendation, what have you. It's so much stress, and I'm sure you do not want to go through all of that. Yes. So, if you really want to, and because you are already in the academic environment, getting to know what to do, every school to go, you'll get a lot of people to advise you on that, you know, that road you want to take. There are a lot of professors still around who can guide you, who you can speak to on a daily basis on what needs to do after national service i'm being so serious because it's really serious yes and um 
and the last thing i will talk about is this is actually the first but i have to you know put it at the very end of the video it's very important no matter what you believe in pray 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 and pray and pray and pray because with prayers all things are possible you will do your part you apply to the job you apply to the schools you do all that you have to do but trust me without prayers without prayers ha without prayers trust me all could be vain all could be in vain trust me all could be in vain without prayers so prayers are very very important morning afternoon evening at any time you get the bible says we should pray without season pray 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 and make god let god make a way for you it's very 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 important that you pray at all times for all you know it's not your will to go to school right after service or look for a job right after service there's always a plan for us so pray to unveil that plan so yes i'm done I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you have any other suggestion or anything you want to add to it, comment below. Leave your comment there. And let me tell you something. Life is very short. Do not stress too much. Be calm. Pray. Relax and enjoy your life. And trust me, all will fall in place for your good. Once you have bread and butter and breath, trust me, you are better off than some people in Syria. <laughs> <laughs> yes so pray and pray and pray all the time but relax do not stress too much if you have to do service do it at a, a very convenient place for you you do not have to um, be chasing traffic every month because you believe that this place i'm doing my service if i'm very diligent and hard working at the end of the day they are going to retain me you cannot be sure of that you cannot be sure of that so do not stress be calm do your part do your best and leave the rest to God. Like this video, comment on it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do where to subscribe to my channel. There's more video coming up every Tuesday. See ya. Mwah.